I went on a trip to meet some friends with a, with a friend of mine who's Welsh, and I did my best impression of him I could because I thought it was befitting with the character. Um, we sat around the table for a week, that's a lie, uh, and we, we, we read over and over the script, much to, in the same way that one would do a theatre, sort of sit down or a table read for, for a week with the actors. Um, the standard sort of um, action um, activities, beats and unit work, um, really um, basic script analysis. Um, and then I think we really had to just get the thing shot within five days. Um, and I, I, am I allowed to say it? I didn't have the lines, I'm allowed to say that. Should we tell them that? I'm not bother. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I, yeah, I read the whole thing off an auto cue, so um, I didn't know the lines. <laughs> so, so, so think. <coughs> the whole thing is me reading, um, which, which I thought was really exciting as well, because I've never done a film whereby I didn't know what I was doing at all. <laughs> And, and the fact was that we, you know, in the truest um, sense of, of an artist, which I believe Steve is, and, and, you know, and with, with the highest compliment uh, behind the production um, as well, is to, to take a gamble on something which, um, is, uh, you know, in, in, a, in an experimental way to say, look, let's, I think we can make a movie or a film, a screenplay happen in a very short space of time, in a way, in a way that one would have a shotgun wedding, you know, you... Uh, you know, we've got a baby, so we better get married. It's like, we've got a script, so we've got to shoot it. We've got next week, let's do it. And we did, and this is what happened. And I think- It's like a home delivery. Basically. Yeah, it was a home delivery, really. And, uh, and, and, and I think that really adds to, to the flavor of it. And, uh, and also what, what can be done in a very short space of time with the right people. Um, when you put a good team together, you know, I think anything's possible. The script was a blueprint. So obviously Steve had done a lot of work behind it and in creating the characters. And when I read the script personally, I could see who they were, uh, these people. Um, then I made, I personally made some uh, uh, um, like um, choices which I ran past Steve. Um, um, I liked the fact that he was a captain of a ship in some way, um, hence sort of the woolen jumper and the everything being slightly soft, like the beard and, um, and him having a, a softness to his voice. Um, but that could weather the storm. I'd, um, I'd recently been taken out to, um, to, to somewhere um, rather hostile with a, with, a, with, a, with a friend of mine who was Welsh. And uh, he, was, um, he had a, you know, I tried to do my best impression of his accent in the film. And, um, but he's the type of lad, um, like there's a gentleman in this room now with me as well, who have tremendous grace under pressure in, 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 in environments which are incredibly hostile. Um, which I wanted to also connect the dots with with Ivan, um, though his world was concrete and buildings, there was something very um, down to earth and uh, and um, solid uh, about him. So all, everything was in the case file, meaning the script, and I think that all the characters are, are thoroughly uh, uh, fleshed out already for for any actor to come and and, and put on top um, rather instinctively um, choices. Um, it's funny that you didn't see the faces of the other actors who were in the room in the hotel and how they were, how they would have portrayed physically <laughs> their characters. But there was, there was, there was ample room, I think, for each, for each, for each one of them to, to develop full physical life and transformation. Um, that's what's so beautiful about a script that actually it reads as a radio play, and I think you can see these characters. Um, whether or not you see my interpretation of, of Ivan Locke uh, the way that I portrayed him. You could see him, uh, who, whoever read him, uh, physically. I, I think, anyway. So the development of them is, is purely from your imagination, but it, it has to be grounded somewhere, and that, that comes from the case file. And I think you know um, that's being the script, and back to the script again, being well written. I think there's a, there's a difference between uh, when they have to become sort of political question in some ways. It's like there's a difference between movies and then the art of of you know, craft and and creating screenplays and storytelling and character work and acting and you know all the the other side of the of the fence that which which turns you know cash over and, and that which doesn't and uh, it is a shame um, largely um, artists are sort of in, in the back room or in theaters or you know in you know works in progress that don't get to see the light of day yes I do think we should see a lot more quality work um, that's not to say that there isn't a place in the world for superheroes I think that's also equally as important but um, my preference, um, my preference is obviously the work, and, uh, and uh, which I enjoy. And, uh, and someone like Locke is uh, for me, 
and everyone else involved, I think, is, is a great workout. And, uh, and, and certainly what we would do if we weren't getting, well, I would anyway, certainly what I'd be doing if I wasn't getting paid to do superhero movies as well, which I, I equally enjoy, which have their own um, challenges as an actor. Um, they're, they're just very different mediums. Uh, and I think it depends on what the audience wants and what the artist wants to do themselves. And there's plenty of, uh, plenty of time to, to create in isolation if you have to. It's a shame that you don't see it more in the cinema, though. I can't really say anything about Mad Max for obvious reasons, um, though I think it's going to be brilliant, um, and I'm looking forward to it. And um, when it comes to one-man shows, I, 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 um, I suppose I, I, there's, there's a part of me that feels um, that I have... Uh, it, I, I'm very grateful that people will take a, a chance on me to, to tell a story on my own. Um, but I wasn't on my own, actually. There was a, there was a, it was an ensemble piece at the end of the phone. And uh, in, in very much, it, it, it's a, a radio play or a screenplay, um, which was then shot, you know, um, you know, from multiple angles in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a small space environment. But when it comes to choosing roles, um, I'd, I'd like to test my versatility and adaptability. Um, I think you probably see me in aggressive roles because those are, those are the roles that I've breached in, um, I suppose, um, so far in the last three or four years. But, you know, hopefully there's life in the old dog yet and I've got a few more characters. At least I hope, <coughs> hope I have anyway. And I, I won't be beating people up all the time.